what's worse than spending $550 on a smartphone? That smartphone screen cracking when you first drop it. I know what some of you are thinking, if you drop a phone, it's obviously going to break. But you know what I think? For that much money, I expect a hell of a lot more. Phone manufacturers know it's inevitable that accidents happen, so why don't they make their products tougher? I had the Google Nexus One for only 10 hours before I dropped it from waist height and it fell and broke into three pieces and the screen shattered. You can see how disappointed I was after spending that much money on the phone. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. I left it on top of the car and I forgot it was there and then I drove off, fell on the floor and then I drove over the screen. Look at the state of my screen. 450 pounds I spent on this phone. And now, you know, as you can see, it, it turns on, but you can't do anything because it's like damaged and stuff. I dropped it in a pub last night. LCD's broken again, and I've broken it a few times before. Um, I used to have a flat phone, keep it in my back pocket a lot. Always breaks. I always forget it in my back pocket when I sit down. I've had one dropped down a, a toilet by my young one. Um, but yeah, you see, it can be a problem. The first thing I thought of was, oh, I've lost that photograph, I've lost that video, I've lost those numbers, you know, rather than the phone. I was running for a bus and I dropped it and it smashed. I hadn't had it very long, a couple of days, I was really disappointed. I've been to a few repair shops, but they're charging quite a lot of money. I've been quoted like £80 or so and I figure as it still works, I can get by with it, then I'm just quite, I'll put up with dealing with it as it is. Broken screens are very common, but what do you do when it happens to you? Do you throw out your phone or do you find a shop to repair it? Well, phone doctors here in London Bridge came highly recommended, so I'm going to go inside and see if they can fix my phone. is a mobile repair shop with in-house engineers that fix anything from water damage to software problems to unlocking phones and their speciality, broken screens. Head surgeon, do you think that maybe you can help me? I've dropped my phone and it's smashed. Oh my God, Leila, what have you done? Let's look at, look at this. Oh, well, we can see the physical damage, but we're getting a pulse. It's not too bad. We'll get you on the mend. Do you get this often? I mean, do a lot of people come in with, with smashed screens? <laughs> we're getting more and more. I mean, so <laughs> we'll, we'll get, let's say, 15 to 20 iPhones every day uh, with this kind of fault, basically. And it's, it's, it's getting more prevalent now with phones with bigger screens. And I think a lot of that is a more of an educational thing where people are kind of treating these phones as they would maybe the older, more basic handsets, which are a lot more robust. Tell me, what are the most randomest like, requests that you've had come in here? Oh, we get all kinds of stuff. We've had phones which have been kicked by cows. Um, <laughs> one crazy one from a few years ago was a, a, someone who left his phone in his wetsuit um, and it fell in the Irish Sea. I don't know how he managed to forget his phone in his wetsuit, but um, we managed to fix it, <laughs> which was quite an achievement, to be honest. Dr. Faisal, how long before my phone will be fixed? Well, Leila, we'll get the phone to surgery straight away. We'll operate on it, and if all goes well, we'll be back on the mend in a couple of hours. Great. Well, then we'll be back later today. Just hope my phone survives surgery. Okay, so understandably, if you drop your phone, there is a very good chance that it will crack. But what if your phone was just laying on your desk untouched? Well, at CNET UK, we speak to Flora Graham, who tells us about the mysterious case of her Nexus One. Our Nexus One, it was particularly weird because, as far as we could tell, it was just left on the desk and then little hairline cracks appeared underneath the screen. So the actual surface of the screen wasn't broken, but underneath there were little radiating cracks and the screen was all discolored. It still worked, but you couldn't really see much on it. Um, and I think what was a bit unusual at this is the fact that it hadn't been dropped that we know of, or it hadn't been dropped right before. So maybe it w had been dropped previously or something happened previously and then the pressure of the heat of the battery or whatever it was caused the cracks to occur. Or, you know, who knows, maybe it was just sitting on a desk so maybe like a meteorite fell on it or something. We don't know for sure. HTC were just as mystified as CNET UK and warned Flora that the phone, which is now no longer available on Google.com, is more fragile than it appears. 
Now what HTC and Google told us was keep it in its case. It comes with a free neoprene case. And also I was quite surprised to hear the, what the support person told me. This is an engineer, not a spokesperson for the, for the company. Basically said, don't put it in your pocket. It's not meant to be put in your pocket. If you sit on it, it might break. If you throw it in your handbag and it gets bashed by keys, it might break. So the, the impression that we were given by the support people was very much at odds with the videos and things that Google's released showing it undergoing all this testing and things hammering against it. They basically, what we were told after we had broken it was basically be careful with it. It's quite, uh, sounded like it was a fairly delicate piece of technology. But, but since then, we haven't had another problem. Okay, so I'm back here waiting for my phone. Fingers crossed everything goes well. Yeah? Hi. Oh my god, it looks brand new. The Thank operation you. was a success. It looks beautiful, it looks brand new. Thank you so much. That's fine, just treat it with love and care now, okay? Broken phones and cracked screens really suck when they happen. But look around, do some research. If it's the manufacturer's fault, hold them responsible. If not, don't despair. I'm sure that there's a phone doctor's equivalent near you. Well, that's it for this week's Press Play. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila Mackey, and see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.